Okay, so now we're done with our lips. Um, we're going to move on to some of the other areas that we need to start building up slowly so that this baby can have um, kind of a, a more realistic, um, gradual build up of her facial expressions. She's got a beautiful little face and she's got a lot of characteristics that we want to emphasize. We still have our paint palette here. Um, I'm going to be using the brick and the warm blush colors combined to make kind of a, a bricky color. Um, it's going to be a little thicker than the blending or the modeling type colors tripping over my words. Okay, so we're going to start by outlining our little nostril flare just one side at a time. And I'm going to come in with one of my poor abused little brushes and we're going to kind of gently tap it to take any excess paint and blend any of that color into the surrounding areas. I don't want to touch it directly too much because then it'll take the color completely away. I just want to emphasize the color. You can kind of see there. And we're going to come in on the other side. And again, we're going to blend this color in gently. That just gives you that emphasis and a hint that the nose is separate from the face. It gives it more dimension. Now we're going to come in with a little bit of detail down the lip here. This is more than the lip. I think this is called the Cupid's Arrow. And a lot of people, that's what they refer to it as. We're going to gently touch that in. And we're going to gently just very much pounce it back and forth so that it can blend slowly into the area around it so it's not sticking out like a, a sore thumb. All right, now we're gonna go around the eyes a little bit. Okay, get on in there. All right, some eyes. Gently, right on the inside of the eye we're going to blush that in and blend it very carefully. I don't want to pull it out because it'll look like she's been crying. I just want to leave it there so it emphasizes the depth in her eye. Okay, so you can kind of see how that got darker compared to this one over here. All right, now we're gonna to go to the bottom of her eyelid. I'm going to make this baby kind of a strawberry blonde, and so I want her coloring to reflect that. So she's not going to get too dark. She's not going to get any more pink. Um, we're going to do a couple more layers next to emphasize that she's going to have fair skin and reddish blonde hair. So that's one more part. That's why my brushes get all mangled and buggered up looking because there's a little tapping and a pushing. I don't want to pull like normal painting would be. So just very gently tap it and blend it smooth. And we see you have some issues with our nostrils. They don't look real at all. So we're gonna add some depth to those. For this color, I'm gonna go with a little bit of my bright red. Let's see if I can get that in a spot where it doesn't reflect. My bright red mixed with my purple. And this is gonna be a little bit thicker. So we're gonna right up the nose. We're gonna just touch right in the very back of the nostril. And now we're going to take a, a long brush so that we can reach up the nose. And we're just going to tap, tap, tap to blend that in. 
I don't want it to come out of the nostril, so we're going to very carefully just tap that in. So much for not coming out of the nostril. All right, so that one's a little bit blended. Now we're going to go back to the second little nostril. Snap, I just made a big mess. Look at that. Okay. Good thing we have some blending to do. Get rid of some of these buggery spots. And hold the head however it takes to get the vision that you need to see what you're needing to do. You don't want any empty blank spots. Okay. So now we have some depth building up on her. Our next area of depth, we're going to go for the ear. And this color, I'm going to go straight with the, eye, the dark eyelid purple. And not dip it in anything else but that. And we're going to go straight to the bottom of the ear. And then we're going to take our little blending brush and try to leave as much there as we can, but gently pull it out to the other areas to make it look deep inside of the ear. Okay, so now we're going to carry on with that, with a thicker layer of paint. We're going to kind of make an S shape in the ear. And this is going to emphasize those deepest, darkest creases. And gently just pounce it. I'm not lifting the brush up very much at all. It's just kind of vibrating back and forth to blend that paint in really deep. And we have extra paint on our brush, so we're going to see how far we can go with it. Just keep on carrying it around. Alright, so that's the under layer of the inside of the ears. We'll come back to the top layer of ears in a little while, but we're going to do these under layer deep spots first. Okay, partially done. We're going to grab a little more paint and do this top lip up here. This one would be the backwards S because it's the opposite of the other ear. And again, we're going to gently pounce and kind of drag our paintbrush up to blend that into that deepest, darkest crease. Drag it around as far as the paint will go without adding any more paint to your brush. This will naturally make it a little more paler back through here. Okay, so that's that. So we have our lips, we have our nose, we have our nose creases, we have around the eye, we have our ears. And now the last creases that we need to start building up slowly on our face is these under the neck creases. So we're going to throw in some paint and then we're going to go back to this brush, our poor mangled blender, and just tap it and move it back and forth across it until it blends to a level that you are happy with. And I'm not pulling it out of the crease, I just I want it to stay in the crease as much as possible. I just want to remove any excess paint and allow the color to blend naturally. There's a small crease here. We're going to use my brush. I'm not going to add any more, but I'm going to take the residual paint that might, may or may not be, it may not even be there, off that brush and kind of try to emphasize this little contour on her chin. There's not much there, but it'll add a little bit of depth as we go. 
All right. She has a little bit of a contour over here on her chin on this side. So we're gonna add just a titch of paint over here. And a couple of these little creases here. Can you see it's a little bit pink right there? Um, I'm not worried about that because the next layer will add more color to her ears. So that's actually a decent color for that spot to build with. I'm gonna come to the other side and fill in some of these other creases and get them started. Okay. All right, now we're gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see what she's coming to look like. She's already looking really pretty. Her veins look amazing real. She has this little funky spot. I think I got it off the paint right here. So I'm gonna see what I can do about that. We might have to turn that into a little natural blemish. And maybe time to change my paint sheet. Um, we'll see what becomes of it. But she's looking really beautiful. Her nose is getting nice and dark and natural looking. Um, her eyes are looking natural. Her ears are started. She's looking good. All right, so we have a couple more creases in the back of the neck just to start the, the building up of those. All right, so I think we're good. We're gonna go stop with this layer and I will work on the under creases on the arms and legs in the next part.